are five days away from fundamentally transforming the United States of America. The way Bush has done it over the last eight years, added four trillion dollars by his lonesome, that's irresponsible. It's unpatriotic. We cannot and will not sustain deficits like these without end. That's why today I'm pledging to cut the deficit we inherited by half by the end of my first term in office. That's why today I'm pledging to cut the deficit we inherited by half by the end of my first term in office. We are paying the price for these deficits right now. My administration will not rest until every American can find a job. We will not rest until we are succeeding in generating the jobs that this economy needs. I will not rest until businesses are investing again and businesses are hiring again. I'm not going to rest in our efforts to help people who are looking to find a job. We will not rest until we build an economy that's ready for America's people. Conservatism as a way of understanding life, society, and governance. The founders believed in the conservative agrees in the dignity of the individual. That we as human beings have a right to live, live freely, and pursue that which motivates us, not because man or some government says so, but because these are God-given natural rights. I think conservatism appeals to everybody if it's articulated properly, passion, good cheer. Because conservatism is all about the best for everybody. It's all about the best everybody can be using whatever ambition and desire they've got.
I have spent most of my life as a Democrat. I recently have seen fit to follow another course. I believe that the issues confronting us cross party lines. Outside of its legitimate functions, government does nothing as well or as economically as the private sector of the economy. For three decades, we've sought to solve the problems of unemployment through government planning. And the more the plans fail, the more the planners plan. A government can't control the economy without controlling people. And they know when a government sets out to do that, it must use force and coercion to achieve its purpose. Somewhere a perversion has taken place. Our natural unalienable rights are now considered to be a dispensation of government. And freedom has never been so fragile, so close to slipping from our grasp as it is at this moment. In this present crisis, government is not the solution to our problem, government is the problem. <laughs>